Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Amy Thompson, and I'm the CEO of Covenant Children's Hospital. And I'm so excited this afternoon to be joined by Jarrett Culver. Hi, Jarrett. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm so glad that you joined us today. Um, I am an unashamed basketball fan, hence my Final Four uh, t-shirt. Um, I'm a West Texas girl, so I went to Texas Tech for undergrad, my med school, my residency, and so I was all in on the Final Four. So you have given me the dream of a lifetime was, uh, was the Final Four experience. Thank you. I'm glad to be a part of that. It's so special for me and everybody in the city and community. So I'm so glad to be a part of something so special. It was just such a, a fun, fun experience. And we're, we're so grateful we got to share that with you with all of Lubbock and Texas Tech. Thank you. I'm glad that that happened. And it was so special for everybody. Yeah, me too. Well, Jarrett, we're going to turn and I'm just going to talk to you a little bit um, first about Covenant. So tell me a little bit about how Covenant was part of your life growing up. For sure. Um, growing up, this covenant, we had the same values and faith and family and just, you know, trying to better the community and everybody around us. So mm -hmm. just sharing those similarities between me and my family and, you know, just the whole community has been a big part of being a partner with covenant. Awesome. Um, I agree. It's a thing that drew me to Covenant um, as well. So, you know, obviously I'm in the children's hospital business. And so I really believe in having specific programs um, and things for children. So why do you think it's essential to do those kind of things for kids? Uh, for kids, th their mental health and everything that they go through, it impacts their growth. And I feel like for them growing up, they need certain things to the detail. So being able to put things in place for kids and children um, in the hospitals or wherever at to help them better their growth, it helps out a lot. Yeah, I agree with you. And I always say that everything starts with kids. And, you know, we believe in that on the front of making you know healthy kids. But certainly one of the things we're going to talk about today is mental and behavioral health and those kind of supports. Um, you know, that we need for kids. So I loved reading about your family. And so one of the things that um, that I've seen is that you guys are really involved in that community kind of youth space. And I loved reading about your mom um, does some things with Head Start. I'm a huge fan of, of Head Start and what they do. Um, and we've talked about this. It's so similar to the values that we have at Covenant. So talk about kind of what programs and, you know, foundations that you've created and some of those goals that you have with that? Yeah, for sure. Um, just growing up, I, I grew up playing sports. I have two older brothers and we grew up playing sports and, you know, very competitive. So one of the biggest things and most recent things we've done is just build a court where kids and anybody can really go out there and play and have a safe environment to just have fun, go out there and play. Something that I grew up doing, growing outside, playing on the courts. And for my mom, she works with the YMCA. So she does a lot of stuff with Head Start and a lot of things for kids. So when I go to her job, I see all the kids and how happy she is and how much she enjoys helping them grow up and make an impact on their life, seeing them become the young men and women that they become mm -hmm. that's great. So just seeing that and my mom's joy in her job, uh, it makes my love for helping kids grow with, uh, a great joy for me. Yeah, that's awesome. So do you ever go out and play on the court with the kids? It just got built. I've been in Minnesota, but I've been I've been once or twice. But when I get back to back home in Lubbock, uh, I for sure go out there and play with okay, them. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so here I'll ask you this question. So, why do you think it's important to have a children's hospital in Lubbock and you know specialty care for kids? Uh, it's huge to have a children's hospital in Lubbock, and you know I have a specialty in playing basketball in my job, and so does the doctors and specialty in helping children out and. You know, it's, it hits home because it's special because they have somewhere to stay local with their families and they don't have to stress on going anywhere else. And to be able to have a children's hospital, it's exciting. And, you know, to be able to have that impact and help somewhere in Lubbock and right at home, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big deal for me. All right, Jared, the last thing that we talked about is you and I, I put a challenge to you. Now, we're not playing on we're not playing on a 10 foot goal. We're playing on a little tykes hoop. But when all this is over and you travel back to Lubbock, you and I, we got one-on-one, -on -one, all right? I'm ready for it. I'm ready okay, for it. sounds good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.